more than 25 years, STT Group has been developing and manufacturing technical means designed for protecting information and creating devices for combating mine and explosive terrorism. STT Group's branded equipment is used by companies and law enforcement agencies in dozens of countries around the world. Its equipment has been tested and proven itself in such flashpoint areas as Syria, Chechnya, Israel, Afghanistan, and a number of others. The company's specialists have been invited to participate in the work of the Russian NATO Council meetings as experts on numerous occasions. STT Group is a permanent participant of major international and Russian specialist exhibitions. Vladimir Tkach, chairman of the board of directors of STT Group, told about the history of the company, its development, team and new developments. Well, the company dates back to 1994, maybe a little earlier. But in 1994, we had already drawn up the company's charter and similar documents, registered with authorities, and our team included just 3-4 members in total. And after a while, we grew to a business with 130 people and pretty wide business area, as we are today. What is STT? It's a special technique and technology, and besides the abbreviated name, we also have a logo in the form of a triangle and a radio pulse inside the triangle. However, the triangle sort of symbolizes three components of such activities as attack, defense and search. The core team still consists of ex-officers of special services. Now we can also add the army, which was the Soviet one at the time, and members of the engineering staff of the leading research institutes of the Soviet Union's defense complex. That's our core team. The team also features former engineers of Fazatron Research Institute. And as I have already mentioned, retired officers of the Armed Forces and Special Services, both Federal Security Service, FSB, and Foreign Intelligence. Well, after intense terrorist manifestations that took place in Moscow, such as house bomb attacks and the like, we really nearly focused on techniques designed for searching mine explosive devices. This is now our secondary line of business, but, put in other words, perhaps it's the primary one. Still, it commands the largest portion of our operations, but I would classify our two developments as brand new. A system designed for detecting improvised explosive devices that can be installed on armored vehicles while moving, where fighters are protected by armor and are more likely to save their lives in such challenging conditions. The second area is similar to the first one, but they share the same goal – an attempt to protect a serviceman, soldier or officer from direct contact with the mine explosive device. This is crucial for engineer reconnaissance. When servicemen are walking along a road with mine detectors, such as caution, screening the road, they risk their lives all the time. Firstly, they may step on an explosive device which may result in a fatal incident or serious injuries, or simply get killed by those who can watch them while they are doing their job. Our four sets of nonlinear field locators, called Korshun, were used in the combat zone in Chechnya during the Second Chechen War. But we managed to implement such sets of parameters in a number of our products that are unparalleled in the world. The field detector Korshun, designed for detecting improvised explosive devices, is the very first and most striking example operating based on the principles of nonlinear location, which have been known since the 40s of the last century. Such principles were actively used in the 70s by the special services of different countries, including our country. However, in terms of the set of parameters that we have implemented in this device, operating based on the long-known principles, it is unparalleled as far as we know. We have sort of a world map in our office, which is all pinned with multicolored push pins, showing locations to which our equipment was ever sold and where our equipment was used. And looking at the world map with all these patterns created by push pins makes us feel pride and raises our self esteem. Protection against information leakage. Sort technique, protection technique. It all started virtually with one thing. This activity has split into two areas – development and production of equipment. 
search for leakage channels and protection against leakage of information, such as voice information, for example. Well, due to the fact that we have been producing this equipment for many years, we have gained appropriate experience and succeeded in creating our own service division. This division visits various companies upon request, checks their offices and premises to ensure that there are no intrusion devices that can be used to intercept secret information. Our main customers that benefit from our services are entities and businesses for whom the cost of information leakage is immeasurably high and can lead to dire consequences. As regards our services, these are three areas, one of which is devoted to search activities aimed to find leakage and eavesdropping channels. The second area is handled by our protection division that builds leakage-free secure rooms. And the third one deals with computer security. Watch the full version of the interview on our channel in the next releases. Vladimir Tkach will tell how the specialist equipment was created and refined how NSTT Group's equipment helped save lives of many soldiers during the Second Chechen War, about the principles of and approaches to handling equipment in combat conditions.